Gloucestershire just about kept themselves ahead of Leicestershire on the penultimate day of their intriguing LV County Championship match at Grace Road, although a victory on the last day is still a realistic possibility for both teams. Leicestershire began day three on 32 for two, just two runs ahead of their opponents who'd fought back valiantly on the second afternoon. And that fight back continued when Will Gidman trapped night watchman Ollie Freckingham in front in the morning's third over. Effectively, that wicket left the home side on 5 for 3 with lots of time left in this match, so there was plenty of work for Ramnaresh Sarwan and Ned Eckersley to do to prevent their side from slipping to their first defeat of the summer. The problem for them was that very few meaningful partnerships had been developed throughout this match. This one could have ended when Sarwan was put down by Cameron Herring on 9, although it would have been some cat standing up to the medium pace of Benny Howell. Howell has had an excellent match with both bat and ball and he didn't let that miss upset him as just a couple of balls later he got one through Eckersley's drive. The batsman unclear for a moment as to whether he'd been bowled or stumped as he departed for 45. That gave Howell his sixth wicket of the match to go with his first innings 50 but neither he nor Jack Taylor could see off Sarwan who made the most of anything on offer. Although Leicestershire had slipped to 69 for four with a lead of only 39 at the fall of Eckersley's wicket, this was still a match they could win if they could get enough runs on the board. Sarwan was certainly trying his hardest to do that. He found some good support either side of lunch from Josh Cobb, a man who thus far has struggled for runs this summer. How his side needed him now, and for a while at least he didn't disappoint. He was especially strong when the Gloucestershire attack drifted onto his pads as he and his captain added 76 for the fifth wicket in 32 hard-fought overs. Although good off his pads, such a shot led to Cobb's downfall on 43 as he clipped this delivery from Howell to Will Gidman at mid-wicket. And Gloucestershire sensed a victory when they picked up two more wickets before tea. Sarwan, having battled hard for three hours for his 44, was bowled by the wicket-hungry Howell. While Shiv Thakor was bowled around his legs by Jack Taylor to leave Leicestershire on 157 for seven, only 120 runs to the good. It had been a slow crawl too for the home side against some very accurate bowling. They desperately needed a partnership and for someone to get beyond the 40s, that having been managed by Eckersley, Sarwan and Cobb, Matt Boyce looked as if he could be the man to add the latest twist in a match which has been filled with them. This stroke at last took Leicestershire past 200, but they needed more runs yet to put the pressure right back on their opponents. But instead, Boyce became the latest man to go when well set, Will Gidman finding the edge of his bat to bring an end to an eighth wicket partnership of 50. Jigger Naik had been the other man in that, but he too was soon out. Having made 21, he had a nibble and Nick Craig Miles to the keeper. Miles then removed Robbie Williams and Leicestershire were all out for 217, leaving Gloucestershire a target of 188 for their first win of the campaign. Freckingham wasn't going to make life easy for them to get that. In a fiery three-over spell at the end of the day, he had the better of Mike Klinger, but importantly, the Gloucestershire skipper survived. As did Chris Dent, as this pair saw out seven overs to give their side every chance of winning this match on the final day. They go into it on 16 without loss, and that means that they need 172 more with three sessions to go. Given the roller coaster ride of this game, Leicestershire won't have given up hope just yet, but day four's morning session will be crucial.